I think what interests me about chamber music uh, relative to uh, the symphony is the intimacy and I think it's a combination of uh, challenge and relaxation when I'm listening. It's more obvious, I believe, in uh, chamber music and it kind of switches my mind back and forth sometimes or sometimes it's, it's one mode or the other, but uh, relaxing and listening is uh, something that is, I don't know, it's unique in my mind. It changes my mind in, in interesting ways and thoughtful reflection. Uh, the experience of attending a chamber concert is that you can focus on the performers individually. You can, you can much more clearly see what they are doing and how they are doing it, which I think is really part of what chamber music is all about, is enjoying the, the professionalism, the mechanics, so to speak, of, of what the performers are doing. And you, you can't see that as clearly in, in symphonic uh, performances, although I enjoy them tremendously. Uh, chamber music is, uh, a little bit more challenging in that way and more interesting in that way. So I enjoy being in the audience in a position where I can uh, observe uh, and uh, understand better how that music is being created. And not necessarily I can see into the mind of the performers, but I can certainly see what their fingers or their, their body is doing when they are performing. So I really enjoy observing that. I would add another thing. I, I when I attend a, a chamber commerce, a chamber concert by myself, I tend to want to sit by myself to avoid distractions of people around me. So it's always a trade-off as to whether I want to sit down front where everybody's there, or whether I take a seat somewhere towards the middle or the back. Uh, I don't see maybe the performers as well, but I have the ability to uh, adjust myself, uh, turn my head, uh, think differently, and I don't have the distractions of people around me. So to me, you'll usually find me if I'm by myself, uh, sitting by myself somewhere in the audience and enjoying the concert from that perspective. Another dimension of uh, chamber music and symphonic music in general in the community, but I think the chamber music, chamber programs are pretty unique, uh, is that uh, it adds some diversity to the community. And there's something that uh, I have observed over time. I'm an economist by training. The value of having options for people is uh, significant. Most people don't recognize that. It may not be something that I myself would go to or enjoy all of the concerts, but I know that people we are, attract, are trying to attract here to help build the community in our business uh, development efforts and our economic development efforts includes uh, people who do come from a uh, location or a background where those options are available to them, including something like uh, chamber music. So it seems only logical to me that we add diversity in our various forms of entertainment in the community and that the, uh, the community at large, the city, the citizens, the nonprofit organizations uh, should uh, um, be interested in creating more options for people. And really that's what the chamber music group does. It's another option for a, a set of people that are here and people that we want to be here and people who we want to stay here, which is all important to uh, building and growing our business community, our university community, and the economic development of, of uh, the cities and the county.